but like I've been going through some real shit. I need to just seriously detach myself from Instagram. <laughs> I'm really scared. Hi Millie, you're gonna be looking at this content and be like, what the hell is Johnny doing? <sighs> We've missed these chaotic fucking videos, haven't we? But welcome to the day life. Woo, miss you guys. I used to be the type of person to like not, I couldn't eat really that much in the morning. God, I'm such the opposite now. 20 past six and I'm, I'm having breakfast. I, I can't function, you know? I can't function. This, absolutely unreal. Like, get away from me. So I will be vlogging on my phone. It's so classic. I literally, I literally um, was charging my phone. Oh, that van fully hit the. I was literally charging my batteries last night, like literally, and also mentally. Oh my god, I look so tired. Fuck my life, guys. I'm actually scared for this, and it's still so dark, and I'm absolutely freezing. Like my hands are froze. My fingers are fully frozen off. They are. They are gone. They are like sausages being about to be cut off. Oh my god. Oh. How did you find it? This is me. This is you. The girls carried it. Yeah, we absolutely carried it. We fucking carried it, mate. We were the we were the bricks in that work. <laughs> you were the string. I don't feel like this is my phone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really, it's not my family, fam, fam, family, 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 family. Oh, let's see. Um, Millie has forgotten her camera in my bag. She thought it was James Warnock's, but it's actually mine. So I'm gonna take over this YouTube thing now. Um, and the security guard just tried looking at me. Hi, family. What's up? My name is Johnny Meatless. Nice to meet everyone. Hi Millie, you're gonna be looking at this content and be like, what the hell is Johnny doing? Okay guys, so I just got back. Hi darling! Hi darling boy! Yay! It smells in here now. What have you done? Have you done a poo? Oh, he's on a pet. So I left my camera in someone else's bag. So... <laughs> We vlogging on the phone until I get that back, which is so annoying. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Like the first vlog back, and and this is what happens. This is what happens. Don't mind me, just picking up poo. Oh, I need to do the bins today. But yeah, lovely, lovely day, guys. Well, the day's only just started. I need to wake up earlier, like more often. I really do because I just, just motiv it motivates me. You know, it really does. Love it. Anyway, I'm going to snack because I'm hungry. That workout was so hard. It is always such a humbling experience. It really is. Someone else just drink milk from the carton. This is actually really good milk. I got this from Waitrose. Deliciously Ella. Oh my god, I didn't know it's Deliciously Ella. Mm. It's such good almond milk. Oh my god, it's so creamy. And it's just literally almonds and sea salt in there. I don't know why it tastes so good. We need to sort out the flat, don't we? Don't we? Just let me tea. I literally down those teas and I feel sick every time after having it. Ow, I, got, I just got loads of admin to do today. So obviously now that I've left my camera in my friend's bag, 
It means I have to do a whole detour today. So I've got a face gym appointment and I've also got therapy. Um, and I've also got just stuff to just clean up. So we're gonna shower, clean, and just get my life together. I've also got so much work to do. I'm a little bit overwhelmed, guys. I'm a little bit overwhelmed, but it's a classic, classic day in the life of Mini G. Haven't we missed these? We've missed these chaotic fucking videos, haven't we? Right, little no nos. We're gonna, we're just gonna get shit ready. You know what, guys? I'm going to. So I'm fully stripping. I'm gonna put music on, and I'm just gonna time lapse this. See how much we can get done in the next hour. Let's go. I'm gonna shower though, so we're not gonna see that. You depend on my weakness Satisfying you while I keep bleeding I don't know why you act like you need no sense You wanna take a piece of my heart again I get it up, cause I just don't want to Something in your eyes, the way you stare me that I like I wanna let you go, but it's like something holds me tight impressed myself i did that in half an hour so when i really need to work out like in the morning i really do because i've noticed like i'm always so much more productive i'm just more motivated i just have more drive to do things in the day i really really need to do that more like that is what i'm going to be doing i think that's what i'm missing in my life so i've actually switched up my meals i'm having fresh fitness food um i get some delivered every now and then so i'm getting fresh fitness food meals delivered every now and then because I think I was talking about this in my stories on Instagram. If you don't follow me there, then go go follow me there. Self plug. But yeah, I I don't I don't cook. Like I don't. I used to love cooking so much, but now I've just lost my love for it, and I feel like I've got so much going on. But cooking is the last thing I want to do, which is really sad because I really did love it, and it was like a nice therapeutic thing. So hopefully I can get back into it. But right now, for the for the for the meantime, is that what they're saying? I'm getting meals delivered because I need to just eat properly. I, I'm, I can't just be living off porridge and like random bits and bobs here and there. So we've got salmon, um, lots of lovely new potatoes. I don't know what the sauce is. Tahini dressing, pomegranate seeds, sunflower seeds, red cabbage, sumac roasted potatoes, za'atar spiced salmon and broccoli. Like I wouldn't be making this and I'm so 
happy that I'm having this right now because this is just what I want. Mm. So guys, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit while I'm eating, but actually I don't wanna do that because I hate watching myself eat on camera. I really do. Also another one of my resolutions, not that I do New Year's resolutions because I can get into that later. Trust me, we've got a lot to talk about. I've got a lot to update you guys on. Um, but one of my goals, whatever, is to actually sit in my thoughts. Like, I, I'm always having music on. I'm always, always having some sort of background music on. It's really hard for me to now then just sit here in silence. But I need to do that. It's hard, but I'm doing it. Hi, team. So... I'm now on my way to my facial appointment. Um, this was actually a very last minute thing, like I wasn't planning to go today, I don't think. Unless I was, but I just stood with my hand I don't know. But anyway, the email came to me today, um, saying that they've got an appointment for me today, so I'm gonna do that. I've got a spot, I'm a little bit overwhelmed then I've just got so much to do. My brain's all over the place, I need to write a list. I need to write a list. Do you feel all the like nerves yeah, through the back of your head? Yeah, Whoa, yeah, it's so <laughs> weird. <laughs> We've got, we've got flash and I'm probably really shiny. Um, so, I'm just about to have therapy. As always, I sit on my bed, Noah joins me. If he's chill, he's not really being on a walk today, so that's my fault, I'm so sorry. And I will check in with you guys after. Oh, I feel like it's gonna be a fucking hard one, this one. I can feel it in my bones, I can. So wish me luck, guys, love you. So, Millie G, um, I know you want solid yeah, Sometimes it doesn't go. Um, so which one do you want? I was saying that you should get this one, just because it looks cool. Which one should she pick? Look, just in case you miss um, Millie, let's see her last post. Remember to like and subscribe and engage with her. You have gone about the seven things. Remember everyone to like. It is, what is it? You need to ignore what everyone else is doing and achieving around you. Stop measuring your progress with someone else's ruler. Life with food rules is more scary than a life with food freedom. That looks, that looks incredible. That looks like a good croissant. Your training days are only 50% effective if you don't fuel on rest days. That looks amazing. I think, is that tofu? Look at, look at her go. On my account, Johnny Meatless, all the vegan recipes. You can't hate yourself to a version of yourself that you love. It doesn't work like that. The day you had a bad mental health day was probably the same day I had mine. We can all do this together. You need to have way more alone time than you give yourself. Romanticize it and eat that shit up. Yep. And lastly, failures aren't failures. The opportunities and they're inevitable parts of life. It's how we respond and grow from them which defines our character. Look at the baby boy. Oh, there's, there's eight. There's an eight. Look, she said there's a plus one. I didn't realize. Sorry. You can't change the people around you, but you can change it. You can't, but you can change the people around you. Yeah, I am trying to let that sink in, really. I, I thought I was uh, being dyslexic. <laughs> you can't change the people around you. Like everyone else, you're amazing, really. Absolutely amazing. So. I've had my therapy. You know what, guys? I'm going to roll this into tomorrow because that's when I'm going to have my camera and I'll be able to really just sit down and chit-chat. So, lucky you. You guys get to see two days. Um, so, anyway, yeah. Also, I just want to say, I have snacks and other food around these meals. Like, trust me. Um, yeah, just to make that clear. I don't have these meals. So, today, we've got... 
lots of rice like i said at lunch we love lots of rice we love the portions rice sticky tofu pep like sweet peppers and then i'm gonna put this like pineapple jam on which i'm not too sure but i'm just gonna mix it around i, I trust the chef what can i add maybe a sweet chill let's add a bit of sweet chill guys i'm so cold so i've had to put the heating on <gasps> i'm so fucking cold oh also therapy i'll update you on therapy tomorrow when i can actually just sit down but you know what it was it was a good session obviously it's always a good session but in terms of like I wasn't crying and melting down because I think I got all of that out on Friday. Why is my hair greasy? I literally washed it yesterday. I've just noticed that that Dettol was in the view the whole time. Taste test. Mm, lovely. A bit of soy sauce. Just to balance out the sweet and the salt. I'm gonna enjoy this on the sofa. Let me show you my setup. I also love that there's not like no washing. There's Noah, he's already in this sea. I'll sit right here. I will put the candles on with my blanket. There's my blanket. Yum, yum, yum. All right, it's the next day. I'm on my way to the But I'm going to Dean Street before to meet all my lovely friends. I don't know if you remember from the Barley Vogs, Toby Matt, and of course Bronte. And we're going to reunite. Obviously, we've seen each other since, but I haven't seen each other in four pages, so it's going to be so cute. Like, it really is a long time coming. So yeah, I'm going to do that, go for food. Maybe a drink. I should have been dry jam, but whatever. Oops. And then the event. Hey guys. Hey. This is Alex. Um, we're on our way to see Millie. Um, I'm gonna give her camera back. <laughs> I, I don't know where the camera is. Um, but yeah. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> this is Carnaby Street. You will see Millie soon. <laughs> section of the vlog um honestly so I'm just at home. um oh my god every time i come in this lift it kind of smells also i always look at myself in the mirror after like i've been out and i'm like oh my god what like why did no one tell me that i have something in my teeth or something but i don't anyway um i i was like at that event there were so many people that i was saying hi to and like chatting to and everything um, so I was just very much in in that zone, um, and I and sometimes I just feel like a bit awkward whip, whipping out you know a camera in front of everyone. Um, but I had a really good chat with Michael, who is CEO of Fraser Fraser Group, which is unreal. Hi, darling. Hi, darling. Video, 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 video. <laughs> Oh, you're jumping! <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh, um, oh god, baby, baby boy, put you up there. Um, I'm gonna chat to the camera, Noah. Is that alright? So yeah, spoke to him, um, <laughs> and also spoke to Ollie Marshon, and and then George Heaton was there, who is the founder of Represent and Two Four Seven. I got such, it was actually so good, it was so, so good, I really learned a lot. And um, yeah, I had a really good chat with um, Michael and Ollie. Because basically, like, I am going to fill you in on this, I need to fill you in, but like, I've been going through some 
real shit recently. And I don't wanna cry. Um, <sighs> God. See, even now, like, my coping mechanism right now is to distract myself. <sighs> guys, there's so much going on in my head at the moment. I'm gonna make a tea, guys, and I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna give you a good old chit chat. <sighs> Hi, guys, sorry, that was way longer of a wait than I was anticipating. I was just eating, making my cup of tea. We've got a tea, and I'm gonna unwind with you. I'm gonna get unready, get ready for bed. It is. 10 to 10. Um, you know what? I've actually been really good at going to bed early. I've been getting to, into bed at half nine every night, which is very good. So, um, apart from tonight, I'm on, I'm on a roll. I'm freezing this, so I'm just going to put a jumper on. I was saying, I've been going through it recently. If you don't follow my Instagram, then you wouldn't see <laughs> the very vulnerable stories I've been putting out recently. Um, well, I mean stories, I say it as it's plural, but I've just put up one story of me crying my fucking eyes out. Um, and just being really vulnerable and like, yeah, it's, it's been really weird because it's like, the, the, these feelings that I've been feeling have, have really been haunting me. Like it's been such a haze um, in my brain for, I would say, since maybe October time. So it's obviously January now, so three months. There was a time, when I just came back from LA, probably mid-October, mid to end October, where it really hit me like a ton of bricks. And that's when I had my first panic attack at the airport. Like I'd never had a panic attack before. I didn't know what I was going through, what I was experiencing. And it was at this airport. It was a weird, it was a weird airport. And I had this panic attack and it was like the weirdest thing. Like these these feelings in my, in my muscles and bones that I wasn't feeling before. I felt like I was out of my body. It was like an out of body experience. Like I was very dissociated with the world and reality and it was so scary and like you can only really understand what panic attack feels like when you've had one before and the biggest misconception about panic attacks is that people think that you're like <gasps> like panicking like that but like it's not like that and i was so shocked that i was having a panic attack at the moment i knew that something was not right and i was googling and i was like fuck i'm having a panic attack and then that obviously makes you panic even more so yeah i was an absolute mess there and that was the last time then like it kind of just sort of Stayed at a steady state. It didn't go up. It didn't, you know, it didn't get better. But it just stayed at a stable state, stable enough for me to just go through my everyday life and get through it, and you know, still be relatively happy um, and content. But like, obviously, not my pure self still. And then on Friday night, so it's it's Tuesday night now. So on the Friday that's just gone, I love how I'm breaking out. I've got two spots around my mouth. That's really annoying. Um. Friday night, I was in alone because Liv is away for a week. I think when I just have nights in to myself, also it makes you just, whether it's subconscious or conscious, you are just thinking more. You, you're with your thoughts, like, yeah, there's distractions everywhere, but you're still, you've still got one less barrier that's blocking you from your thoughts. I think that's when the floodgates opened and I was triggered by when I put a post up on Instagram. <sighs> I really loved this post. It was so vulnerable. It was like, like so vulnerable. And like, the more vulnerable a post is, obviously the more scary and anxious I feel posting it. And so I really had to like, pick myself up, really had to just push myself to do it. And I always just hope that the, that performs well um, as a consequence, because not only am I being vulnerable and like relatable, I guess, but I'm also being so open about my feelings and it's fucking scary. So a reward from that would be, you know, really great. Um, it would make it worth it. And I think in that moment, cause I know what's worth it for me and that's helping people and that's all that matters. When I, whether that's one person or thousands of people, I just want to help someone. So uploading a reel like that, if I help one person, a hundred people, whatever, that's what I need to focus on. I can't focus on the numbers. I can't focus on the numbers. And I think recently I've been getting really stuck in the comparison with other influencers online, other creators, making me feel like I'm not creative enough or worthy enough to be an influencer or I'm not gonna succeed in life. Like I was thinking all these awful thoughts. I was thinking that my career's over. These sound really like drastic thoughts, but like in my brain, they're all very rational. Like there's a lot of stuff that confirms all these thoughts. Um, 
obviously there's things that I'm ignoring that are disproving these thoughts, but I'm not looking at that. I'm just looking at everything that is confirming these thoughts, which is like how you get in this hole. Cause like anything that anyone else says, you're not gonna believe it. You're only gonna believe yourself because they're the only thoughts you know, right? Anyone else's opinions is just like sort of buffer or like a window for you to either accept it, listen to it and take it on or see it as false and that's your choice. And when you're in that mindset, the choice that you will always go with is to listen to those negative thoughts because it's just like confirmation bias. If you're thinking negative thoughts in the first place, you're searching for everything to validate that and to confirm those thoughts. And when you're stuck in that hole, it can be, that hole can last a day, it can last weeks, it can last months. And for me, it was months. And I was searching for everything to confirm these thoughts. And the more I was searching, the more these thoughts got louder and louder, the more true and, I was very convinced that my career was over, everything was done. I had no worth anymore on Instagram. People sort of didn't really care. You know, people only followed for the temp the weight gain journey that obviously, you know, inevitably stops and then once it stopped, like they don't care anymore. So I know that's not true. I know that's not true. I think my people pleasing habits really get in the way of my job because I'm just trying to please everyone and like impress everyone and that's not sustainable, nor is it realistic. So I know this sounds so like superficial because it's such a first world problem, but like when it is your job, it really like this, my job is my life. So like I am consumed by it 24 seven every single day. So when your job is based so much off engagement on Instagram, comments from people, like everyone else's opinion, it really is like, that's literally what, that's literally how I've got to where I am because of everyone else's opinion. And like it goes one way, great. But if it goes another way, it's fucking shit. I've just learned that I need to just seriously detach myself from Instagram. I think I do need a break from it, but I also am aware that like, if I have a break from it, then I'm gonna stop helping people and that doesn't sit well with me. So I need to find a balance basically. And I I just need to get out of this rut because it's, it's so consuming, it's taking over me and I'm losing myself. Like I really am losing myself. <sighs> and it's so scary because it's like you, can't really run away from it that you can't run away from your thoughts you know you have to really like combat them and confront them and that's fucking hard like that's hard it's hard to be consumed by these thoughts all day every day and i think the way to get out of it is like journaling mindset having time away from these triggers which for me is my phone spending time with friends like that's so oh my god i noticed such a difference when i spend time with my friends like i am so uplifted every time that i leave like a coffee day or um even an event tonight like i just feel so inspired and, and really uplifted i just wish you guys can see everything that goes on behind the scenes like i show you so much but like physically i actually can't show you everything because well obviously privacy but like i can't be filming every single second of the day like i film i guess sometimes when i'm sad but like i'm not gonna be filming all the time when i'm sad like i need moments where i'm just sort of actually feeling my emotions and not being on camera sometimes i'll just like literally whip out the camera forget it's fucking there and then <laughs> i'll look at the videos and i'm like oh god like that's not going anywhere but yeah I, I i i virtually journal so i i record myself talking to the camera as i'm feeling the emotion i think that's it's so good for me like it really helps me as soon as i vocalize how i'm feeling and i hear it out loud it does make me think a bit more rationally like the other day i just had this feeling it was to do with a friend i was just so annoyed and frustrated and i had so much resentment and when i was like vocalizing it i was like uh, i actually really have no right to be like that like it's just my inner the inner child screaming and like it, she's triggered for valid reasons but i think you just need to recognize what is actually a trauma response and what is your adult self you know i actually was um uploading some flashbacks of my skin exactly a year ago so basically i went for a face gym yesterday as you saw which by the way guys like just with them. love it so much i actually got the gua sha love that i'm gonna be using that every every morning and night i can't really use it right now though so we'll just stick with every morning for now what was i doing dot for spots guys get on it get on it they're so good fuck i'm so bad at losing my train of thought what was i saying I thought I had tough, I thought I had tough skin. I thought I had, you know, I thought I was so, so confident in myself. I knew what I wanted. I knew what my values were. I knew how worthy I was before, well, 
panic disorder, so it was, it's a bit of a grey area. But during during my weight gain journey, I was really finding myself. I knew I knew my worth. I knew what I wanted in life. I knew what I was meant to be doing in life. I knew where to go. I knew my direction. I just knew everything. I was so I just grabbed it by the balls. I was just so passionate about everything that I was doing. I and that was when I was my really authentic self. And that was when I was so creative and everything was just falling into place and you know how they say like everything is magnetic and that or everything has energy in this world and if you're putting out that energy of the energy that you're going to be putting out which is being authentic being true to yourself like being passionate you know you're putting out all that good energy it's gonna come back it's gonna you're gonna be the magnet and i really 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 experienced that and i was just like oh my god everything's falling into place like what the fuck? like this is incredible and then as soon as as soon as that stops and you start to maybe think a bit more negatively or you compare yourself to other people and you go through those like very negative heads like very negative headspace you get the repercussions and everything else seems to be breaking apart and falling out of place and going crazy and like it's a ripple effect like it really is so you need to just get back on the positive bandwagon the positive train what do we call it we're gonna call it the the positive polar express that's what we're gonna call it you know me i love a bit of alliteration and i really learned a lot tonight with um michael and ollie as well because they were just really giving me some good advice about really staying true to myself really being authentic really seeing my my why like what is it that i want to do in life and that and that is to help people so i need to just stick with that focus on my own lane and like they said the direction that you go in isn't straight it's forward as long as you're going forward, you're going to be going up, down, up, down. But as long as you're going forward, that is where the gold mine is, or like the the rainbow. That, that's the end of the rainbow. You know what I mean? Like that's the trick. As long as you're going forward, and I really love that. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. I can fill you in more tomorrow. To be fair, at this rate, I'm actually going to have my entire. I've got all my insecurities out online. I've got, I've got some of my love life. Not I want all of it. I do need to keep, I do need to be careful with that because I do not want to be my own cop block. I don't want to be making any guys scared because they're worried that I'm going to talk about them on camera. Like, I need to be careful, you know. But then also at the same time, I want to just fall you guys in. Oh, fuck's sake. Anyway, I'm chatting way too long. I'm much going to go to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Hi guys, it's the day after. I'm really scared because I'm just about to have this call. Um, I don't even know if I've told you on here or not, but I don't think I'm going to tell you yet just because I want to wait until I announce it on Instagram. I feel like, no, there's just weed under the bed. Have you weed under the bed? No. Um, yeah, well, anyway, this call is to do with whatever I'm about to announce on Instagram. <sighs> I'm really scared. <sighs> okay, guys, so I have my call. And you know, you know when you know, <laughs> wait, you know it's a good thing, okay? You know it's the right thing when you're buzzing about it like i'm fucking scared and i know it's gonna be oh, so painful and hard but but i know that because i'm buzzing right now that's a good thing like that's when i know i've made the right decision and this is great i don't know why no it's coughing i think he's got kennel cough you know and he's taken to the vet he's fine um yes so i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching it's been an emotional journey in this vlog hopefully next week i'm gonna be a little bit more uplifted um right now i feel very uplifted after that call but I just go downhill tonight don't i <laughs> love you guys so much i'm so happy to be back on youtube let's fucking fucking go love you